welcome back to another On Reviews. Guys, when it comes to snacking, tortilla chips are the best. So crunchy, tasty, and just the flavor of a corn chip is always great. So lately in Canada, we're starting to get some options. What are we checking out today? How about we check out some Takis? So Takis only recently came to Canada. So they're not brand new, but they're still newer. I haven't tried them yet, so I'm looking forward to it. What flavors did I find? We'll be looking at the Zesty Nacho, Crunchy Fajita, the Angry Burger, and the one everyone talks about, the Hot Chili Pepper and Lime. Let's start out with the Zesty Nacho, a classic flavor. So for a 90 gram bag, you're looking at 470 calories, 26 grams of fat, 54 grams of carbs, four fiber, two sugar, and six grams of protein. In the bag look, and here's what the Taki looks like. Dorito Zesty Nacho is one of my all time favorite tortilla chip flavors. While this isn't smelling like that, I'm hoping it has a similar taste. And this is a mild heat, so maybe a little bit of spice with it. Let's check it out. Here we go. The rolled tortilla adds an awesome crunch. That's really tasty. It's definitely a strong reminder of Zesty Nacho Doritos. The only thing is, although it is covered good, I find the Dorito might actually end up getting a little more flavor on it because it just has more surface area. It's nice, cheesy, and crunchy. This one's good. Ron's gonna give the Zesty Nacho a 7.5 out of 10. I'd probably still go for the Dorito just because, like I said, I think, I think with the surface area you're getting more flavor. But the crunch on this one is great. Probably a bit better. Let's check out the next one. Let's get a little mad and check out the Angry Burger. For a 90 gram bag, we're once again looking at 470 calories, 26 grams of fat, 55 grams of carbs, four fiber, three sugar, and five grams of protein. The end of bag look. And this is what the Taki looks like. A little unnatural looking. So the color is a little scary on this one. Not 100% sure what to expect with this. Something tells me dill pickle. You're looking for a beefy angry burger. I'm expecting like steak seasoning with like a dill pickle and maybe a bit of heat. Let's check it out. With this one, what I'm getting is a lot of dill pickle. It's almost like a Mexican seasoning along with it. Like, it's kind of maybe like a salsa. It is pretty good, but I'm not the biggest fan of dill pickle. If you like dill pickle and just a bit of heat, like nowhere near hot, you would definitely like checking this out. Me, I'm not the biggest fan of dill pickle chips. Although I don't mind them, they're definitely not my favorite. But does Ron think of Taki Angry Burger? He's going to give these a 6.5 out of 10. But I'm probably rating that a little bit low, just because of personal preferences. Let's check out the crunchy fajita. For this one, for a 90 gram sack, you're looking at 480 calories, 26 grams of fat, 55 grams of carbs, four fiber, one sugar, and six grams of protein. The in the bag look. And here's what the taki looks like. A little bit darker than the zesty. Once again, I'm getting that Mexican flavor smell. So I'm really looking forward to this. I love the Mexican profile. So this one I'm hoping will not disappoint. I've been loving the crunchiness so far, and I, and I do like how they're rolled. I'm missing the surface area of a Dorito, but I can definitely get over that if the taste is there. Here we go. I love that crunch. Hmm. This one's really salty. Apparently one on rolled. I'm getting a lot of the fajita style seasoning. Not a whole lot of heat. I wish there was a bit more. I guess I'm kind of missing the taste of, let's say, like a meat or something like that. I'm really enjoying the crunch and the actual taste of the tortilla chip itself. Other than being extremely salty, like this one is way saltier than the other ones. This one is pretty good. Still my favorite so far has been Zesty. Why does Ron give Taki crunchy fajita? He's given this a 7 out of 10. Definitely runner up so far. Lastly, we have the new Taki Fugo. This is the one everyone's talking about. So for one 90 gram bag, we're looking at 450 calories, 25 grams of fat, 50 grams of carbs, four fiber, two sugar, and five grams of protein. The end of bag look, and here's what the Taki looks like. It looks nuclear. The color on this one got me excited. I love spicy food, so heat doesn't affect me that bad. So if this is actually as hot as they say, I'm really looking forward to it. Here's the last Taki, here we go. I don't get it. Like, is the heat in this supposed to build over time as you eat them? Because that was pretty disappointing. I'm only getting the level of heat that I get from, like, Sweet Chili Heat Doritos. Guys, can someone leave in a comment down below, is this the one that is everyone does the Taki challenge with? Because I could definitely do that challenge. 
I'm disappointed in the heat, although I really do like this flavor. Combine that with the crunch and a delicious tasting tortilla chip of the Taki. This one's definitely the highlight for me, although I'm still disappointed in the heat. I'm going to give these an 8 out of 10. Definitely my favorite of the four, but still a little bit disappointed. If, if this is the hot one that everyone's talking about, I think they could have stepped up their game a little bit more. This has been Around Reviews and a look at the four Taki chips that, that I was able to find. I've seen these in a lot of places, including Walmart. I've also seen these size bags at Sobeys, so across Canada, if you have a Sobeys nearby, you can definitely find them there. It's been a quick round of reviews and a look at four different flavors of Takis. See you guys next time.